Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I am just, you know, I was shuffling and cards were coming out. I'm just going to go ahead and um, record in all signs, okay? Because that's what I kind of feel. Well, it could be a twin flame too. Either way, this is a, a very strong, powerful soulmate connection, okay? Um, either a twin flame or a very deep past life soulmate connection, all right? This reading is for the collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but it is for any sign and all signs, okay? It's just a random read. If you were led here, there's probably something in it for you, okay? Um, but just take what resonates and leave what doesn't, okay? Uh, and if you like this video, please go ahead and click that like button, subscribe to my channel, help me grow. Um, like, subscribe, comment, share. Um, I just, I'm very appreciative for all of your support. Uh, if you'd like to make a donation to the channel, there's a link to follow at the bottom of the description box. And this channel is for adults only. Okay, so let's get started. Like I said, um, I've got a few cards out here, but I really feel like this is, it very well could be a twin flame soulmate. But um, it's either that or a very deep soulmate connection, like where you can't stop thinking about this person and it's very frustrating. You know, it's that energy going around, right? It's so many, every tarot reader is picking up on this. You guys know the story. Um, so anyway, just take it how it resonates with you, but We've, I feel like this is a masculine energy. Um, up at night, can't sleep. This is like a, I can't sleep, I can't eat <laughs> kind of thing, right? Um, trapped in their mind about all of this stuff. Keep rehashing over and over again what they're losing and how they're trapped. And tower moment, we've got a tower moment coming down on this person. They're in a situation. Now this is, I feel, yeah. I feel like this is going to be going on like for the next few days. Um, lots of fighting, lots of bickering. I mean, a lot of fighting here is what I'm feeling. Uh, it's it's a lot, uh, and they're not in a good mood. They they've put themselves in a corner. I feel like they they just don't want to be around all of this fighting anymore. Okay, I feel like Jubilatus. He's very who is texting me this late at night? Jubilatus is very grumpy, okay? He sits his own butt in a corner, right? And because things didn't go the way he wanted them to go. As a matter of fact, this person, this divine masculine or this masculine energy, I feel like they, they chose some place or someone where it's just been nonstop, one big hassle. Okay, one, it's just one fight after the next. And it's, I feel like right now, the current energy and probably it'll waft into the, and through the weekend, tower moment, huge, massive tower moments. Um, this person, whatever they're in, whatever commitment or situation this is, it's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. And, and maybe even very abruptly, okay, which is sending this person, I feel like, in a tailspin. They're sad because all they want is their happiness. Their happiness with you in a brand new beginning in love. You could be dealing with a Leo, you know, or a water sign. But justice is coming here, or a Libra. But justice is here. The scales are about to be balanced out here. When we talk about happiness with the sun card, this is the same card in my sister deck, my homemade deck. So um, I feel like your person or maybe multiple people are watching you just kind of be happy person watching. Okay, they're just watching you be happy. And I feel like they're amazed and interested in how you're doing it all at the same time. Okay. Yeah, this person wants to be happy with you, 
okay? They want to be happy with you. I feel like they want justice in this situation as well. They want to go to calmer waters with you also. This person's really a mess. Okay, when I say up all night, I'm talking they lay in bed and just think about all of this crap with you, okay? That's all that they do. Um, or they pace the floor, or they like lay in a puddle of their own sweat, you know, things like that. But they're up, you know, until the sun comes up. This person's probably quite exhausted, actually. All right, what else can you show me here? Yeah, they want this new beginning with you. Uh, you know, and I think that's about to happen because honestly, there's a tower coming down. Whatever situation your person has been in, I feel like it's it's crumbling. It's 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 just about over here. Your person wants this new beginning. They're going to be gifted with a new beginning anyway because they're they're really losing all the foundation that you know their whole world is being shaken up basically when this tower comes down on whatever foundation this person's in they'll have no choice but to accept this new beginning they've got to go they've got to start somewhere okay so they're coming in to apologize to you i feel they really really want this person watching yeah they want this happiness with you. What else can you show me for the person watching? Yeah, they're coming in to talk. You could be dealing with an air sign as well, but this is really super fast. This is the fastest moving night in the deck. This is going to come in like as soon as this thing ends, they're going to the central focus is to come straight to you. And this is all about communication. They're coming in to talk, clear the air. You know, well, they want to apologize. You could be dealing with the Pisces as well. Did I say that? I don't know if I said that or not. Yeah, this person's been juggling, okay? But the, the Hierophant says, uh, no more of that. <laughs> no, we don't think so. This is the Pope in the deck. This is the Divine right here speaking. Holding up their hand. No. Nope. No more. You're going to do the right thing. Yeah, there's not going to be any more juggling. The, the Divine won't allow it. Your person needs to speak their truth, cut something out, and they need to do it fast. Um, they need to do it now, so, you know, says the Divine. But will they answer that call? I'm thinking yes, because I'm seeing nothing but a new beginning here, an apology, communication, wanting to come towards their happiness because the whatever commitment this person was in, I'm telling you, it's crumbling. All right, what else can you show me here for the person watching? What else can you show me for the person watching? Death. Yeah. This situation here is about to transform, but I'm really thinking it belongs here. Um, that's the feeling that I'm getting because I was just talking about that it's going to be over and then we got the death card out. You could be dealing with a Scorpio as well. Here's the thing though, this person's going to come to you, you're already kind of got one foot out of this, okay? I'm sure you care about your person, you know, but you're really focused on you right now, person watching. Um, you could be a fire sign as well, but not necessarily. Um, you're hanging on to your happiness, right? You're focusing on your happiness. Um, something could go down in Leo season here as well. But you're going after what you want with a passion. I feel like you've turned your cheek on this already. And uh, you've already got one foot out. And I feel like you're just paying attention to you. The, her MO is not wanting to waste any more time or play any more games. You're not going to allow anyone to play any games with you either. Um... 
and you're just focused. This is a focus and this is being, you know, this is that feisty, fiery kind of energy that goes, you know, she goes after what she wants and she gets it. But you're not looking at this situation. You've turned your cheek and you're looking off. You're looking away from it. Um, you could also be dealing with the Taurus and an Aries here, but the signs really, it's just the energy, guys, okay? It's just the energy. Someone's watching you. You're not paying attention to this at all, but someone is watching you like a hawk. Um, this is the Page of Swords, and I call him Creepy McCreeperson, right? Because um, this person just watches you everywhere. They, they, anything that you're posting they see. They may be watching you um, outside your house, on your street, um, at your work, wherever. They, they try to get, like, watch you everywhere that they can, okay? Now, usually with Creepy McCreeperson, they have something to say, but they kind of hold back their communication, but he's holding this sword up like he's getting ready to talk, and I feel like with the birds up here, communication's going to start coming in. I, I feel like it's coming in fast. This person, I think, has been watching you for a while, yeah, on the bottom of the deck. They're wanting to come in and tell you how they feel about you. Um, sometimes I see this as love bombing, but I just really feel like this person, they've been in a situation where they've been able to compare your love and your energy with someone else's that they fight with nonstop. I think this person's been waiting for it to come to an end. I think they've been in jubilatus energy, all grumpy and angry about the situation for a very long time. And I think they know now that you are their happiness, okay? It's no doubt that they're watching you like a hawk. They're watching you here and they're watching you here. But now that this is over, I feel like they've been waiting for it to kind of come to an end. <laughs> I don't know why I feel that way. Um, but now that it's come to an end, see, they want to come in as fast as they possibly can. As fast as they can. It's almost like they've been released. It's almost like they've been released. And the divine helped bring this to an end because they're like, we've had enough. We've seen enough of the juggling. Central, that's in the central focus. And that pushes your person forward to come and talk to you. I really feel like they're coming in with an apology and honesty you don't see it coming I don't even think you've seen them watching you but but they have been alright what else can you show me yeah I, you could be dealing with a cancer or you could be a cancer but this is coming in once again we've got the two fastest cards in the deck out coming in for a victory and communication this thing is going to happen so quickly. Yeah, you're their wish fulfillment. I feel like they, they could see you as, their, as someone that they could build with. Um, they see you as being responsible, uh, taking care of everything in the home, grounded, stable, marriage material. You're their wish, and it's their wish to be committed to you not in this thing here that's coming to an end where they're fighting, okay? All the time, all the time. You know, fighting and turmoil and... Yeah, so they're coming in as fast as they can to get their wish, to get their wish. And I feel like that's you, person watching. You could be an earth sign, a cancer, a fire sign. I mean, you can really be anybody, really. Any sign. The signs, it's just about the energy, guys. All right, what else can you show me for the possible outcome? Possible outcome for the person watching. Yeah, they're going to see you as the empress. 
They're coming in to talk to you. They see you as their empress. You're every queen in the deck to this person. I feel like um, they're very confident, though, and they, they, they really want this victory. And I feel like the divine has kind of given them a boot forward here and helping them out, you know, by with this tower moment. I feel like you're going to sit and, and hear them out. They must come to you correct. I will say that. They must come to you correct. I feel like this this is probably a twin flame soulmate connection. Now I've got two twin flame cards out here. Like I said, if not, it could just be um, you know, it could be a deep, very powerful, intense soulmate connection, okay? Or you could be dealing with the Gemini as well. But I feel like this is the divine bringing you guys together. It's time. It's time your person made a choice. It's time to leave something behind. See, this one is shackled to the wall. It's time to leave it behind and move forward. Um, I feel like your person knows that it's you that they want. They know um, what this connection feels like to them, okay? Um they quite simply can't take their eyes off of you. I feel like your focus is on the divine and going after your happiness. I, I, that's, I feel that's what your focus is on right now, person watching. But theirs is on you. Straight on you. And where you are, look, it's, it's abundant and growing. And where they are, it, it's on fire behind them so yeah that's this tower moment it's time to move and the divine is like it's time now and they squish you guys together see their arms bringing you guys together that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here this could very well be you know um, a union coming up your person knows that they know they've got the world in their hands with this connection they hold the world in their hands with this connection and they can manifest whatever they want with you two together the possibilities are limitless and i feel like this connection also is about as it's more than just this person's passion it's more than it's more than your passion and love for them it this is about the change that you guys can make together for the world. That's what the divine is showing me. Maybe not so much what your person is thinking yet, but that's the divine that's what the divine is telling me to say. That in union this is supposed to create change in this world here. And right now your person holds on to this choice. You know, the big question is, do they know how important of a connection this is? I do, I do feel like they're coming in to talk to you. That I do feel. Okay, one more card here for the person watching. It's just get, it's time, it's time. It is time, look, it's time to move. It's time to move. It's time to get moving on this. That's what the divine is telling me. It's time. There are things, there's work that has to be done for this world here. And that's why the divine wants to bring the t they're going like this. Do you see? They want to bring this together now. The time is now. Look at the clouds are rolling in. The divine is coming in. Yeah. It's time to get it together. All right, so what else? What else can you show me? Yeah.
honestly, you know, I this I would normally say this is your energy, but I kind of feel like it's your person's. I feel like they're right now in pre-empress energy. I think they're starting to see what they can do in the world, in their world, with this connection. I think this is something that that um, their knowledge about this is growing is what I'm feeling. But it's so slow moving. See the snail down here? Either way, your person just is like not focused on anything but you right now for real. Here, they're watching you be happy. They want a new beginning and an, they want a, a new beginning with you. They want to apologize to you. They want to come to you and talk to you. They're watching you. They're watching you. They're making a wish for you. They're moving forward very quickly to talk to you. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're most passionate about you. I mean, it's you, you, you in this reading person watching. Yeah, they want to reunite. This is people coming together to blah, blah. parties, get together, celebrations, people coming together and celebrating. And this is what they want to do. You know, I could see this as a third party situation card. There may be. But right now, here, I see this as wanting to get together with you. Wanting to get together with you and feeling how important this connection is. Okay? Coming a long way through a crap storm. Yeah. You know, I, you know, it's just, it's progress. And I, I really, I really feel like they're start, they're feeling the importance of this connection. You know, your person needs to do their homework on, on this connection and everything, but if they're getting downloads and, and synchronicities and signs from the divine, which honestly, I'm positive they are. You can literally, I can hand, I can hold on to this card and almost hear like a train, like a sound of a train coming in, and I'm seeing these clouds of smoke rolling in. There, it is time, people. You know, this person needs to move. They need to make a decision. They need to start moving forward, and I think that's what they want to, and they know it's time too. It's time to get together, and it's time to celebrate, you know, this connection. It's time to celebrate this connection. Because there's things that, you know, this connection can do for that world there in this person's hand. Yeah. I think I'm going to stop there guys. I think that's that's a good that's a good place to end the reading. I can't think of a bigger message than that. Honestly. Mm. Let's get let's get some advice on it, okay? On this situation. I haven't used these cards for a while, but I'm I'm being called to just get a couple more. It's late, so, you know. But this is this is good. This is the divine intervention here at its best, I'm telling you. Helping your person and at the same time having them come forward with truth right here. I do feel like um, a strong sense of time is, you know, there is no time. This is the time. This is the time. It's time to do this, or it's time to communicate, or it's time to do right, you know? Round and round. Yeah, look. 
Round and round we go. No more of that. I feel like what, you know, someone is coming back around to you too. I feel like they're, you know, this is picking up signs and synchronicities too with this third eye coiled around. Yeah, I feel like it's time for somebody to come back around. What else can you show me here? And I feel like you know it and they know it. That's way too many. Sorry, Divine. That's just way too many. Yeah, orphaned. And a deep knowing. I'm feeling like if they don't come back around, your person knows they have a deep knowing that they will be orphaned. You've already moved on. You're moving forward. I don't want to say you've already moved on, but you're starting to. Potato. But you're starting to. You've got one cheek turned and you're going after your own happiness, like as we speak. This person has no more time. If they don't come forward, they will be orphaned. And I think orphaned, when I say that, is they're going to be alone. They're going to be isolated. They're going to feel heartbroken, cold, things sad. Look, orphaned out of the connection. I feel like that's a deep knowing. It's not something that's it's not something that needs to be spoken. I feel like it's something your person just knows. They're coming forward. They don't want to be left alone. They don't want to be left out in the cold. I really feel like they want to join you and I feel like that's what the divine is trying to do also. Yeah. And I think you know it too, person watching. You know what's going on, especially if you've been watching tarot, you know? Because honestly, it's, it's this connection. It's, it's across the board. And everyone knows it is time. It's time. Oh my God. It's time. What did I just say? It's time. It's time. All right, guys. Yeah, I can't, I'm sorry. I'm ending it here. That's, I'm, you can't make this up. All right. And it's time. Look, it's time to co-create. Oh my God. And look at this. It's time to go. Oh my God. It's time to go. Okay. It's time to go. All right, guys, you get the message, right? <laughs> I hope that resonates with you. If you like this, please go ahead, click that like button. This is the divine at work here. Like it, subscribe, comment, and share. It's time to go, man. Take care of you and peace out.